Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. Breaking news, former Ripple employee is now working at WattsPay and leading their stablecoin initiative, guys. This has to do with former Ripple employee Jason Sariasolis. Interestingly, not long after Ripple announced they were planning to launch a stablecoin, this is now what uh, WadsPay has announced. So leading this strategic initiative is industry luminary Jason Sariasolis. That's his Twitter, uh, his Twitter handle right there, a seasoned veteran with over two decades of experience in technology and fintech. His appointment as president emerging and new business signals Wadspay's commitment to driving growth and innovation in the stable coin space. And so Jason uh, did come out and say proud to be joining the team with such perfect timing just after the VARA announcement. Uh, looking forward to having a huge and immediate impact. So, uh, you know, the XRP community... Uh, getting pretty excited about this. I got to say, you know, uh, many people have been talking about this. Uh, Luke Thomas also saying, you know, I wonder why Ripple would let go of Jason since he was involved in both the Palau stablecoin and the real estate tokenization in Hong Kong project. So he left Ripple fairly recently. Look down here. You guys can see his, uh, his resume Ripple full time from October of 2022 up until April of 2024. So just last month. And, uh, he did work on, uh, many stable coin projects. Now we have wads pay wading into the stable coin market. So, uh, you know, some people here wondering about this. Another one here from Anders, uh, Ripple and Wads pay stable coin. So April 4th, Ripple announces plans to launch a stable coin later during 2024. And then on May 3rd, Wads pay has announced plans to launch a stable coin initiative led by a former Ripple employee. And so uh, Anders here just uh, bringing up some screen grabs just uh, to further support that claim. Now, what the heck does that mean? And should we be paying attention to WTK, the Wads pay token? Uh, you know, I really haven't talked about this project much uh, but, you know, recently we have seen uh, some excitement here for WTK, the Wads Pay token. Right now it is trading at around five cents, just uh, under six cents, actually. And, uh, you know, from the beginning here, way back in 2022, when it did see that low, uh, it has actually gone up significantly already. So it's up 1100 percent, almost 1200 percent since uh, when was it uh, since August 2022. And the project is just on an upward trajectory. Remember, guys, when the market did see its decline, its absolute bottom was in uh, December of 2022. Wads pay was already up from that bottom. OK, it was already up about 56, 57 percent, give or take. So just be mindful of that. If you guys want to see what coins I'm trading this bull run, you can follow me at patreon.com slash working money channel. I give a list of all the cryptocurrencies that I'm trading, the cryptos that, uh, well, at this moment in time, I still see potential in. Remember, guys, this dip is not going to be around forever. And so, uh, you know, we want to maximize all our opportunities here. Bitcoin down 23 percent, as I mentioned in this morning's video, which I will link up here in the top right hand corner. And also, too, I uh, just wanted to bring you guys to the Wads Pay uh, page here, WTK. Uh, some more fundamentals about the uh, this particular cryptocurrency. Total supply, $1 billion. I don't know. I, I don't talk about this project. Uh, pro maybe not nearly enough. I don't know uh, how many of you guys are interested in this particular coin. Do put it down in the comment section. Maybe I should be talking about this particular coin more on this channel. At the end of the day, though, guys, I'm interested in the money, and this is why I started the Patreon, really. But yeah, put it down in the comments section if you guys want to hear more about Wads Pay on this channel. All right, so the connection to Ripple there, uh, very, very apparent. Wanted to thank Anders and uh, Luke Thomas there just for pointing that out. Wrath of Kahneman, guys, bringing this up with regards to Ripple partner TransferGo. Tink has partnered with TransferGo to launch Pay by Bank for UK customers specifically. TransferGo has partnered with Tink to add Pay by Bank for its payment offering. TransferGo provides more accessible financial services by making international money transfers simpler, faster, and uh, at a lower cost. It operates in 120 countries and has more than 7 million customers. So uh, another Ripple partner here connecting to expand the RippleNet web. Pay by Bank is now live uh, for TransferGo's customers in the UK, introducing a new way to more securely and quickly send money internationally. Pay by Bank is an embedded payment method powered by open banking that allows customers to initiate payments directly from their bank accounts. Uh, and with zero data entry and fewer redirects. This account-to-account -account payment method provides low-cost streamlined experience by letting users authenticate and initiate payments in a couple of clicks. And so uh, here's more on this particular project. Pay by Bank is one of our most frictionless ways to pay online. 
Our mission is to, and this is a quote, our mission is to create a fairer world for global citizens, providing a simple, affordable, and secure way to send money internationally. Pay by bank by TransferGo helps bridge the gap for individuals who may have previously been excluded from accessing or participating in financial services. Uh, with the Tank partnership, though, we can offer a trustworthy, secure, and speedy solution, making international payments easier and creating more favorable conditions for global financial inclusivity. So, uh, you know, obviously more of this expanding, allowing these, uh, well, I feel like I want to call them legacy Ripple partners now because uh, TransferGo has been partnered with Ripple for quite some time now, but allowing these older Ripple partners to uh, really kind of get their foothold in many different markets where, uh, you know, maybe they had not seen any activity in the past. So they are now partnering up with, you know, so many of these different companies. And in this case, this one called Tink. I've never even heard of Tink, but clearly they, uh, well, they have a business. Cross-border payments is their business. So we're seeing the RippleNet web expand. DLT technology and the XRP ledger going to be utilized in more and more different situations as the months and years move on. So driving more demand for the XRP ledger, guys, that is good for everybody. So I wanted to thank the Wrath of Kahneman for posting that. Chad Steingraber also bringing this up with one of uh, another one of Ripple's legacy partners, one of the big ones, ACI Worldwide. And the next big frontier, XRP and the BRICS Nation. So check this out. Global real-time payment growth sustainable as new use cases push transactions to record highs. And this coming directly from a Ripple partner, ACI Worldwide. Here are the statistics. Global real-time payment growth has reached sustainable levels with 266.2 billion real-time payment transactions recorded in 2023 alone. This represents year-over-year -year growth of 42.2%. So from 2022 to 2023, guys, we saw almost a 50% increase, 42.2%. The finding is revealed in this report published by ACI Worldwide, which is in fact a Ripple partner. And so, uh, you know, it behooves them to put out these reports. Uh, previous reports highlighted the economic benefit of real-time payments and customer uptake around the world. It takes a deeper dive into some of the world's uh, leading real-time payment markets. The report also highlighted the factors that have enabled those countries to build successful end-to-end real-time payment ecosystems. And so uh, here are some takeaways globally, 575.1 billion real-time transactions are forecast to happen by the year 2028. This represents uh, a 2023 to 2028 compound annual growth of about 16.7%. So in the next five years, year over year, real-time payments are expected to account for 21.7% of all electronic payments globally. So that is a huge chunk too. India continues to dominate the global real-time payment market. And then it gives us some statistics there. Luckily for us, Ripple is already very integrated in the Indian payment fabric. Uh, Brazil also saw a remarkable year-on-year -year growth, 77.9%. Uh, and that was the growth in, in uh, I guess, from 2022 to 2023. That is humongous with 37.4 billion in real-time payment transactions. So Brazil is also growing quite a bit. Uh, Asia Pacific, one of the largest real-time payment markets with 185.8 billion transactions. That is about 24%. Middle East has grown as well. We saw transaction growth from about uh, 855 million to 3 billion. That is their projection by 2028. Uh, the European Union instant payment regulation passed in February, 2024, and that's expected to drive payment volume up across the single euro payments area. This includes the 27 EU member states. By 2028, they're thinking that uh, instant payments are going to account for about 13% of all electronic payments. America is a major growth market to watch as well. And so this is where it gets interesting because we still don't have full regulatory clarity when it comes to DLT and cryptocurrencies. So we're, we're kind of eyeing it right now and seeing, you know, just based on what they finally hammer out, where it could go from here. They say this is primarily due to FedNow and that launched in uh, 2023. So they did see uh, they did see a bit of an increase there. And then Nigeria, the undisputed real time payments leader in Africa, another major growth market. Uh, and that country recorded 7.9 billion <laughs> transactions in 2023. And that uh, saw an increase of 82.1 percent. So Brazil and Nigeria, huge payment, uh, digital payment increases year over year from 2022 to 2023. We know Brazil already integrated with RippleNet and Nigeria. I don't know how much uh, XRP integration is already occurring in Nigeria, but some interesting explosive stats here, guys, coming from Ripple partner ACI Worldwide. Uh, not to mention, Chad also uh, noted this, that XRP and the BRICS nations, that is, uh, you know, still something 
that uh, I feel like a lot of these countries are really going to benefit from once it's all said and done. So uh, some interesting news there. Wanted to keep moving. Finastra has selected OpenFin to enhance Condor treasury management solution. Now Finastra, another one of those huge Ripple partners. And Condor, they're a heavyweight in treasury management software, and they're used in many banks and financial institutions worldwide. It resided within Thomas Reuters' uh, trade and risk management software business until 2011. Then the business was sold. And so this partnership with OpenFin is part of Condor's wider evolution, says Finastra, which includes leveraging microservices, embedded AI, and partner ecosystem to deliver intuitive and persona-based experiences available via treasury as a service and cloud capability. So really kind of, uh, you know, veering towards that technological side of things. Down here, they say we're giving banks the tools to fast track their transformation, future proof their business and evolve with new demands and optimize their entire treasury operations from full back office processing through real time coverage of credit market and liquidity risks in the front office. Uh, here we have it, more technology, more uh, products available for their customers through uh, through this technology. Well, OpenFin or Open Finance, rather, uh, this is going to enhance the Condor Treasury Management Solution and uh, Finastra, another Ripple integrated partner, wants to play a big role in this. So again, more developments here, guys, from another Ripple partner. Uh, and wanted to keep moving because I also happen to see this from another big Ripple partner. We've got the trifecta in today's video, Temenos, ACI Worldwide, and Finastra. So this one has to do with Temenos, the banking which provides a range of retail business and institutional services across all 23 regions in Madagascar, says it is currently engaged in a digital modernization journey. So uh, this has to do with MNI Madagascar. They have just assigned Temenos Cloud Core implementation to their Orion innovation, and they want to leverage Temenos's platform throughout their operations, product portfolio, and pursuit of personalized digital first banking solutions with the assistance of the Swift Banking Vendors Multi-Regional Delivery Partner. Uh, US-based Orion claims its digital services and technology solutions will modernize legacy systems, design innovative products, and tap into new business opportunities. Uh, this coming from BNI Madagascar will also facilitating a unified banking experience across various touch points spanning online banking, mobile banking, and in-branch services. And note this down here, okay, the digital transformation and product development services firm has previously implemented the platform for a range of Temenos clients, including another confirmed Ripple partner, Cebuana Lulilie Bank. That's right, guys, in the Philippines. Remember back in 2018 when the Philippines Cebuana Lulilie Bank did connect to RippleNet via the X current product at that time. Uh, that has since been redubbed ODL and now Ripple Payments. So uh, this is a very old article, but I thought I'd uh, mention this Ripple connection just to uh, you know put things into perspective here. So uh, you know we've got Temenos here obviously has this relationship with uh, this bank in the Philippines and now looking to integrate uh, this new company, BNI Madagascar, for uh, you know similar solutions running on uh, Orion Innovation. So they want to implement uh, Temenos' Cloud Core. And again, guys, this is all just going to drive more adoption eventually to the XRP ledger. It's got to be interoperable with all these banks around the world. And so, you know, it's always been Ripple's uh, modus operandi, I guess, to integrate all these banks through one way, shape or form, right? If you can't do it this way, try to do it that way, you know, with this partner or that partner or the other partner, whoever it is, it's all going to be beneficial to XRP holders in the long run. So very positive Ripple partner news today. Boy, we were just flooded with it, weren't we? Moving along though, guys, yesterday, if you didn't catch the video I did on the 1992 film Sneakers, I, uh, I'm going to link this video up here in the top right hand corner. This is the uh, this is the thumbnail. I do suggest you guys watch this video. It looks as though we've got some more information regarding this. Uh, you know, this was originally sent to me by Michael Branch. Now, this influencer on TikTok actually noticed the connection to XRP262. It's actually a thing connected to the Federal Reserve Node Network. So. Uh, in this, I'm going to try to read this over for you guys. I'm not going to play the video, but I will link the video in the description if you guys want to watch the, uh, the original TikTok video uh, that I saw this in. So 900 billion, okay, this supply reflects the approximate number of XRP is the true genesis. So not even 100 billion, 900 billion. That's the, uh, the true number of XRP. The hyphen will be included in the ticker. So XRP-262 when XRP-262 is portioned with IE private ledger. Uh, no one will be able to shut down XRP-262. It was comprised of since before XRP Genesis. As a solution, linked tokens are as follows, and then uh, they link 
a couple of links here that apparently connect to sologenic.org, which uh, I do think is also an interesting connection. The majority of XRP 262 will not be traded on regular exchanges because it is inherent to the XR3 ecosystem. A total of 3.6% of XRP 262 is reserved for the XRPL services. Sologenic's uh, disclaimer here, tokens issued on Lobster will not be distributed among the IE7 private ledgers if classified user entries uh, do not provide appropriate government clearance or registered surely trading licenses to assure uh can we get him out of the way there to assure what do we got uh to assure whoops i think we got it there liquidity for bonds of divided contracts so he tried clicking on those links and uh if i scroll through here you guys can see sologenic it uh it just brings you to a 404 page unfortunately nothing to see here folks so another interesting observation wanted to thank uh def one king four on TikTok, of course, Sologenic and Ripple have had a partnership for some time. Back in 2023, Sologenic and Ripple forged ahead in the Middle East and North Africa, despite regulatory uncertainties. Uh, and this is just one example of, uh, you know, the type of relationship they have. As noted down here, Sologenic's contributions to the XRPL ecosystem, Sologenic reports that it has been an active participant in the development of the XRP ledger ecosystem. According to the company, their solo wallet has successfully integrated over 200,000 users uh, into the XRP ledger. Additionally, Sologenic mentions that they have entered into strategic partnerships with payment platforms like Uphold and Banksa to offer global access to the ledger. And uh, again, got to remember Uphold is now providing uh, custody for Ripple or rather uh, ODL, uh, I guess OD for ODL reasons in the United States, Ripple is par has partnered up with Uphold and Banksa is another Ripple partner here. Uh, but you guys can also see they're also uh, connected to Sologenic. Uh, the company also notes that it has gained listings on key exchanges in specific regions such as Bitpanda in Northern Europe, CoinDCX in India, and CoinsPH in the Philippines, and uh, CoinsPH, one of those original OG Ripple partners for liquidity. Sologenic emphasizes its commitment to providing advanced tokenization solutions that meet the increasing demand from institutional investors. So guys, is there something here that government is not telling us? XRP 262 connected to the Sologenic ecosystem. One more thing that I just noticed here, uh, just taking a look at this. Look at this. So they give you the linked uh, XRPL uh, links here, the hyperlinks to the uh, Sologenic.org market index here. But then they say the majority of XRP 262, whatever that is, will not be traded on regular exchanges because it is inherent to the XR3 ecosystem. So that does get me wondering, is XRP 262 similar to XR3 as uh, XRP is to the XRP ledger? And so if these are parallel systems, does it mean we're going to get utility over XRP to begin with? And then if more demand does occur, well, maybe government or uh, the Federal Reserve or whoever is uh, going to decide to unleash the 900 billion tokens, I mean, at some point, or is this, you know, a future plan? You know, there's so many things going on in my mind right now, wondering what the heck this could be. I mean, if, you know, the fact that somebody has dug this up, the fact that it's actually a reality, that just blows my mind a little bit in itself. As we uncover more and more, things are certainly getting more interesting, but that's just my opinion. I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.